everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Circle. So The Circle is written and directed by James Ponsult, and the film stars Emma Watson, Tom Hanks, Karen Gillan, and Patton Oswalt, Bill Paxton as well. So The Circle is about this young girl who gets a job at this tech company known as The Circle, and it's supposed to be this wonderful place where you're always getting watched and you really have no problem privacy and it's supposed to really help you out and it seems all nice and dandy until Emma Watson is slowly discovering that the circle really isn't that good of a place and that the decisions that she makes could affect the lives of her friends, family, anyone else. So The Circle is a film I actually did find a lot of interest in. I was genuinely very intrigued when I saw this trailer. I was like, wow, this looks pretty dang good. I was really hoping for a pretty good movie. And also James Ponsult. I really hope I got his name right. I don't think I did, but he also brought The Spectacular Now, which is one of the best movies I've seen of 2013. I love The Spectacular Now. It is indeed spectacular, in my opinion. So I really want to see what he could do with the film that is more mainstream. I love the cast. Emma Watson's great. Tom Hanks is great. Pat Oswalt. You also got Karen Gillan, Bill Paxton, and his final time, unfortunately. So you have a great cast here. And I have to say, I was pretty let down by the circle. It's really bland, to be honest. I don't necessarily hate this film because I know it's getting negative reviews and I could definitely understand why it's getting negative reviews like trust me I can definitely understand why personally for me I wasn't feeling hatred towards this film but I was unfortunately underwhelmed watching it now what I will say as far as pauses go I do think Emma Watson does do a good job uh, her character you know yeah, but I thought as far as the performance, she did do a very believable job. And, I, you know, credit her for doing good. Tom Hanks, not in this film really that much. I really don't know why they marketed him as, like, the second main character when he's only in this movie for, like, five scenes in total. And he appears more, like, towards the end of the film. But Tom Hanks, I still thought he did a good job. He's still Tom Hanks, honestly. Like, Tom Hanks really can't give a bad performance. And he does bring some charisma to his character. Patton Oswalt is also good in this film. I did really like him. And I also did really like the parents. I thought the actress that played uh, May's mom, she did a really good job. And of course, Bill Paxton as May's father. This is the last time we see Bill Paxton. Unfortunately, you know, RIP to the man that has just given us so many memorable performances. He does do a good job for the short amount of time that he does have. Also, I can't really hate the circle because I will give credit where credit is due. I do think that the movie does have a nice what if, what if we were living in this world where basically we're being watched and we get our privacy taken away. Like it did have me think a little bit on what if that has happened and I did like seeing the pros and cons like I do have a good understanding of why they want this program to happen because the pro is you know if anything happens someone's always out there to help you like say for example if you're in danger someone could always go out and help you but then the con is that you get your privacy taken away there really is no privacy at all anything that happens surrounding your life people will experience and that's where it gets real freaky so you know how the circle does do that although yes it could have been explored better but some of the moments when they do explore that I'm like you know what uh, that's actually pretty cool the cinematography actually does look very good too it has a nice slick look I guess that's the best way to describe it it has this nice look to it and it honestly just looks very professional I also have to say that I was very impressed with the score I thought sometimes the direction by James Ponsolt was good too I thought there were times where he definitely did bring you into this world now unfortunately when it comes to my problems with the circle the movie is really boring most of the time 
it's a complete bore, to be honest. I really was not that interested for the majority. And like I said, while I wasn't hating this film, it is very underwhelming to watch. And it's a shame that a film like this is boring because watching the trailer, I thought it was going to be this very exciting and thrilling movie. First of all, speaking of exciting, there's maybe only like one tension-filled scene and that's towards the end. And that's really about it. This one's just more like of a calm kind of movie where there's just talking going around, where there's exposition regarding the circle, what's going behind the circle. There's more of that. I actually don't mind that, to be honest with you. I actually would have been fine with it if it was actually interesting. But the fact that I wasn't interested really is a bummer. And a concept like this had so much potential to just be so engaging, but the movie fails to be engaging. L.R. Coltrane from Boyhood shows up in this film. I thought he did a really great job in Boyhood. As you all know, I love Boyhood. But oh my goodness, he gives the worst performance. Performance. Oh my goodness. Every ounce of dialogue that comes out of L.R. Coltrane is completely lifeless. It's completely bland. And man, did he sound so bored. Wow. And I didn't really care for his character either, to be honest. His character was bland. A lot of the characters, to be honest, are bland. And that's my next problem. A lot of characters are not really that interesting. Emma Watson is is good in this film she does give a good performance but her character does make some pretty questionable decisions like she really does flip-flop you know one minute she'll follow the rules and then the next minute she'll break the rules and then she just kind of goes back and forth and I'm all like okay can you just make up your mind this character is really dumb and I did not find myself that invested when it comes to Emma Watson's character Tom Hanks he's really good and he does add some charm to his character but his character as being this evil CEO wasn't really impressed too much with the character and that same thing does go for Patton Oswalt who poor him does not really have anything to work with and that's a shame to see him wasted pretty much because Patton Oswalt is a talented actor he's funny he's a genuine guy so it's too bad that the script didn't give him something better to do Karen Gillian I didn't even think she was that good in this film her accent I noticed kind of shifted a lot during the film and yeah, her character was just bland. And I find it odd that when Tom Hanks talks to the people about this program, about how there's cameras all over this world, whether it be in the building or outside or even at your home, the fact that you're being watched 24-7, everyone in that audience didn't really seem to find anything weird about it. Maybe besides like John Boyega. Everyone pretty much is all like, yeah, this is great. You're not going to tell me there's going to be that 50-50. Like, I can understand there being a 50-50, but the fact that pretty much everyone in that audience is all like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. I just... I find that weird, like, are you freaking kidding me, people? And speaking of John Boyega, forgot to mention him. He is wasted in this film. He's good in this film, but his character is so wasted, he barely even shows up in this film, really. He already tells us what we already know. That's all he does. He's just telling us things about the circle that we as the audience already know. We've already figured this stuff out pretty much since the beginnings. And then when it comes to James Pond, Sold. His directing is half and half. Like I said earlier in the positives, there's times where I thought he did a very good job directing this film, but then there's other times where I thought his direction was really, really weak. I won't say bad, per se, but just really weak. Some of the camera work was really iffy. Even sometimes the editing got pretty bad, honestly, and it got very distracting. And the last problem I did have with this film, and I probably will say it is my biggest problem, is the fact that there's no real buildup. Like where the movie ends, I'm like, really? That's where you're really gonna end? You're gonna make us sit through this whole thing and then when the movie ends, that's where you're gonna go with it? It just makes the whole movie feel pointless. It just has me wondering what was the point of me sitting through this adventure in the first place. That ending was pretty lame in my opinion. Overall, you guys, I didn't really hate the circle. It's more bland 
that is terrible. It's just forgettable. It's underwhelming. There's real no build up to this film. This is a really disappointing movie considering the cast and the concept. This had the potential to be a very engaging movie and unfortunately it's just a really really bland movie. I'm gonna give The Circle two out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Circle. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!